So, iso ujumbe mbili ni saa kwa mama Teresia. Nataka ni mali sana na kabisa. Kwa njia ya kukurekebisha na kukemea. Na kukuambia, go back to the drawing board. Niliona vitu sinasunguka kwa mitandao kwamba. Na ni ukweli. Ebu ni kulise mama Teresia. Kuna matumaswali nataka ni kulise. All along. Watu wanachua. Umekua. Wewe. Ni rafiki. Ni kama mama kwa njili. Kwa njili ya. Mke wa raisi wetu. A excellency. Mama Rachel Ruto. Hakuna neno huyu mama ni mausikia meongea kinyume na wewe. Umekua wewe ndiye pasta, mwarigadhi kashagwa na dorokas. Te pasta. Umekua wewe ndiye pasta wa mother kome. The big, big people, nisita sama the big people, just the big people kwa macho wa wanandamu, wanao mata, kama itutuweka hivu katika taiva letu la Kenya. Kuna ujumbe nini kuulisa kitu lasia. Na nika pita tu. Kuna wakati. Our chief justice. Mother Kome. Alitengenesa ule muswada. Akisema kwamba. Our sex workers. Wanza kupewa space yao. Wale ambao. Muna vuyatana. Amuko ignorant. Na what is happening around our nation. Around, around our news. Na kila kitu. Muna chua uwe muswada ulitengeneswa na. Chief Justice, na kaza kushkuma, akitaka wede dhru. Mama Teresia, swali angu ntio hii. Mama Kome alikuwa, awa Chief Justice, alikuwa mshirika, ni mshirika wako. Atu kuona wakati uo, ukisi mama, maana, maana wakati, ani ati sex workers, tunahambiwa tuwaelewe, na mambo kama yale, na yu hiyo ni usherati, and you know well, the Bible says, mavo ni keta, uvu lineri the kingdom of God. And that was like giving a legal right. Kwa hiyo roo. Na inchi andelea kuwa under the curse of God. Wakati wa LGBTQ. Atu kuona mchango wako wa maana yoyote. Kama hilo mefanya on Sunday. Atu kuona umeamuka vizuri. Wacha hile kubiri ya mao watu na ubiri hudu na sema. Hewe Sodoma. Usika kama. Sodoma na ngomora. Walikuwa wanavanya Sodomi. Watu wale zibia. Apana. Direct. Ataras, atu kuona musimamo wako Simbuli because Ukutaka maybe Kupotesa fungu la kumi Na the chief justice Ramama Recho Yandorokas, Yarigadi And maybe the president Na watu wengini Other dignitaries Mwale ambao maybe Mume brainwash Akili zao Ulikuwa unakimbia vizuri I came to your meetings when Kabisa ulikuwa unaweka mikutan Uhuru Park. I will never forget. One day I was in the meeting. I was from Limuru. And that is back 1990. Not yesterday. So you are an old man. Yes. I'm not a young man. I am, I am in between. There, there. I'm coming. And God was using you tremendously. And also some other questions. Is what a stangilian personal issues. Nataka tu nyongilia njili. But also those personal issues. If I sit down with you, I will question you. Now, kiansa kuangea tu ki orela orela. We will come down to all that. Nimekulisa. Mambo ya LGBTQ. Mambo ya kome ya kitangeneza mswala wa sex workers wapatiwe space. Nani wa shirika wako. Atu kukusikia. Atu kukusikia. Ukirayot. Sasa sababu. Unataka kuteka nivande jia. Wale watu wanataka ukaa kama kurumiwa. Mana saa hii. Uyu. Nini. Time beached. For now. Ndepute. President of Kenya, Rigadi Kashagwa. Najua tu ndiyo muna mpindi, anafanya muwe na emotions minge hivo. In fact, ata amefanya mtu wa mungu ambaye, 
huyo mtu wa Mungu mimi namheshimu anamwombea nimeombea kwake nimeenda nime hata nimehubiri katika platform yake kwa kujua kujua ni lini nitawaambia ilikuwa lini uangalie on record yani yani naebu niseme on that note wacha niingilie hiyo hapo mnakumbuka ujumbe zangu silizoisha nikisema wakikuyu ni ngojeeni Mungu amenituma kwenu na ule ujumbe Mungu alinipatia unakaa hivi na nimeisema mpaka nikiwa kwa interviews nimeusema nikasema my fellow tribe kinsmen wakikuyu wadhani wa wetu sikieni niwaambie na maana pia ile roho inawasumbua wakikuyu inasumbua pia sisi wakamba isi kabila mbili siko na shida kubwa sana katika taifa la Kenya hiyo nitaongea hapo mbele nataka nimalisane na wewe ujumbe wako niingie mahali pengine wakikuyu na wakamba nitamwaongelesha huo ujumbe unaenda hapo mbele na ule ujumbe nilipewa ni kwamba niwaambie Mungu akaangi Mount Kenya. Wakikuyu narudia tena. Mungu akaangi Mount Kenya. Ngai de karaga kirimakia Mount Kenya. God does not live in Mount Kenya. Neither in any other mountain you may point but God lives in his holy mountain in his holy habitation Nitaongea hapo mbele Wacheni niulize hayo maswali Kias kama Elio vile alimuuliza aliongea na Job na marafiki zake Mama Teresia wa Irimu Nilisikia kwa kiburi mingi maana hizi kabila mbili mtaona hiyo roho inawasumbua sana wakamba na wakikuyu hakuna makabila iko na kiburi kama hiyo aje ukingusa mkamba neno ya kukuambia hata kale kamezaliwa juzi akana chakula ya kukula yule tajiri maskini wote karibu wote wanafanana wale wakamba hawawezi kutajwa kwa hiyo ni wale wameokoka kabisa wameokoka na wamekombolewa kwa hizo vitu. Hiyo ni roho gani? Ni roho ya kiburi. The spirit of pride. What does God say about pride? God will see a proud man, a proud tribe, a proud family, a proud institution from afar and they will resist them. Kile kinamalisa our ambition deputy president the pride of life nothing and it is god who is resisting him not the devil nitask play na hapo mbele kuna ujumbe natoa hapo mbele purely kwamba ni mungu anapinga utawala na uongozi na kuendelea kwa rigadhi kashagwa I will talk it about because ilikuwa nimeiweka msingi kwa yale maujumbe yameisha. Ili tuache kurukaruka huko. Inafanya mpaka wahubiri kama wewe Teresia waweze kutenda thambi. Unaongea faithless statements na kujivai dakika tatu. To deal with evil foundations ambazo singine even before the nation was birthed our colonial na watu wengine hatuwajui they were on this this our soil alafu nimegundua kuna kitu nimeangalia wakati sana sana watu wanasema kila dakika sote tu nina nini prophecy 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 na kwa kwanza sometimes nimemwambia Mungu aniwezeshe nikae kama Jeremia Jeremia yes alikuwa na mbii and we know the spirit of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy lakini kuna sometimes we are misuse in everything because kuna wakati Jeremia aliambiwa na Mungu wacha wale wako na ndoto waongee ndoto sawa wacha wale wako na ndoto waongee ndoto sawa na wale wako na neno la Mungu Mungu anamwambia hivyo wale wako na neno langu 
akawambia njada mia, ongea na nolangu. Nani unakuta, every dream, every vision, and utterance, please, let it found its trust from the word of God. Kwa hivyo ni nasema hivi, kwa nini ya huku kosoa the chief justice, na tukaona ata, na ukimukosoa kataa, tuona ukimuambia atavuta kanisa ingine. Why? Saa hindi ya natuonyesha, unanza guruka ruka, a government of fighting, fight will continue until Jesus comes. Don't you know what the scripture says? From the days of John the Baptist until now. It is a fight. Have you not read the Bible? Mimi saa singini nasikia kwanza muna, muna, siju ni kuni uthi ama muna nishikua sana. I thought kama uju kijana na hituwa eliu, he kima, ikona watu wa miaka. Umeka kwa njili kwa mdamurefu. Mungu wa megutumia, umeia kwa mamu wa kiruwa kwa mdamurefu. Lakini lio hii, kile unatoa, hata mtoto wa sibisi ya wezi kutuwa hivyo. Nalikuwa na soma, kuna kitu nimesema. Nilikuwa na tako kwa nda Daniel. Nimesema on John the Baptist and Kanda John. Nini nini. Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. Here what the Bible says. But the saints of the Lord. Most high shall receive the kingdom and they possess the kingdom forever. Even forever more. Now. Kidogo, kuna kitu nataka. 